Hi everyone, Leah here from EurekaCrystalBeads.com with another beading hack video for you. Before I get started, just a quick reminder to go check out the rest of our channel. And if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and notification bell and you'll always know when we're posting new content. Today's video is a great beading hack and I think you're gonna love it and you're gonna wanna share it with all of your beading friends. If you're anything like me, sometimes you get very excited to jump to another project, perhaps before you finished your last one. But what the problem can be is then you have to clear your beading board to start the new project. Well, I'm gonna show you a great way to easily and inexpensively create more beading boards for your use. So all I have here to start is an inexpensive picture frame. You can get these at any local home store, even sometimes your local pharmacy. This one's pretty inexpensive and pretty plain. You can certainly have fun with this and pick a frame that's more ornate or fancy just to have fun with it. All I've done is I've taken off the back and I've removed the glass. We won't need the glass for this project, so you can save that for something else. I've gone ahead and taken a Velux bead mat. We do sell these on EurekaCrystalBeads.com and I've trimmed around it just a little bit larger than the frame itself. You'll end up trimming it more after when the project is near to completion, but for now you wanna have a little bit of overhang there. And all we're gonna do is sit our Velux bead mat on the back of the picture frame like this. We're gonna take the back of this frame and we're going to force it into the back of the frame. You can see that sometimes you have to use a little bit of pressure, but we start to secure that velix into place and we're going to get a great beading mat that has a wonderful frame around it so your beads won't flow off the mat or underneath the mat so the easiest way to do this is you want to take notice of the little tabs now some frames are different some of them have tabs at the corners that swivel other ones have tabs that you push down this really will work with any frame so i'm going to take this tab here i kind of held down this little corner i'm just going to swivel this up i'm going to go to the next one make sure this is nice and pushed in Fold in that corner, swivel my little tab into place. Go to the next corner, push it right in there. And the tighter this is, the, the better the, the top of the surface will be. Just like that. And then go to my last corner. And this little part here, if you don't like that, you can rip that off. That's certainly, that's to make the picture or frame stand up, but we don't necessarily need that here. So you can always just remove that. Add in our last little tab here. There we go. So you can take these little pieces here and you can pull them out to the side. That way the velix from the front will be a little bit more taut. Make sure all of your edges are pushed in nicely. And then from the front, we have this great little DIY bead board. The last thing to do would simply be to take some scissors and trim off our velix a little bit closer to the frame, just like that. Trim all the way around. And again, you have a really great inexpensive bead mat where your beads aren't gonna roll off anywhere or roll under your mat, nice and easy. Okay, folks, that wraps it up. Thanks for watching. Make sure to visit us on over at EurekaCrystalBeads.com for these great velix mats that I used in this video. Hopefully we can satisfy all of your other beading and jewelry needs as well. Bye.